Hi everybody, my name is Lex Guitarist and welcome to another episode of the Geek Press. Today we got news about the KFC console, Among Us, and a new Silent Hill game kind of in the works that's coming in 2023. And let's just jump right into all of this and we're going to talk about the new KFC console. So let's talk about that first. So if you're like me and you're wondering what's happening with the KFC console, have no fear. I'm going to tell you all about it. It's no secret that KFC has been working on getting into the gaming sphere for some time. They've even created a KFC Twitter account devoted to gaming that most people took it as a joke for obvious reasons. But it seems like they proved this all wrong and they're stepping right into the console wars by creating the KFC console. If you're still in any kind of disbelief, Mark Walton, PR of Intel, even took to Twitter to confirm this, that it's actually the real deal and it's going to be powered by Intel, which is different because most consoles are powered by an AMD processor. The official page of Coolmaster gives a little bit more in depth with the console itself. According to the page, it's going to be able to run at 4K and up to 240 FPS, which is fucking insane. I mean, you know, not too many console games require up to 240 FPS. That, like, that's insane right there. And, like, what's actually more unique about this too is that the Coolmaster usually makes custom PC builds. So the fact that they're making a console is amazing on its own, let alone that they're making a KFC console on top of that. So, for all you nerds out there, the KFC console will be using the Coolmaster's NC100 Chasis Core i9 Nuke 9 Extreme Computer Element. Damn, I could, like, hear my virginity coming back with that sentence. And a few other things too that's going to separate it from the rest. And lastly, here's probably the best part of this console. It's going to come with a heater that's going to keep your chicken warm. And I mean, that's cool as fuck right there as already. And as of right now, we don't know a price and we don't know when the console is coming out. All we know is that we got this video saying, hey, here's this cool chicken console coming out by KFC. That's it. And the fact that like they're coming in and like making some heat like this is pretty, pretty funny and pretty like unique right here the fact that a fast food brand could come in and do this is kind of dystopian in a way that's like getting a lot of people excited including myself but it's also really kind of funny and cool at the same time and i'm excited to see what happens like is this going to be like a promotional brand for you know kfc whatever they're doing or is this here to stay we don't know yet only time can tell and let's jump into the next story and talk about how among us has like nearly half a million half a billion players uh, billion or a billion? I don't know. We'll talk about it in the next story. So, correction on that. Among Us has racked in nearly half a billion players last month in November. So let's talk about all of that right now. But Among Us isn't slowing down or going away anytime soon. Last month, they racked in nearly half a billion players, making it one of the more popular games in regards to monthly active users. According to Superdata, the earning reports for Among Us isn't all that big. This is mainly because the game isn't heavily monetized, with the PC version only costing 5 bucks, and that consists of 64% of the revenue from August to November. Even though PC players only account for 3% of the players, and even though the game has just been released on a Switch, it's too soon to count the sales just yet. But these numbers are insane for a game that came out in 2018. The game got a second life this year thanks to streamers of all walks of life and even US officials too. If you haven't played it yet, Among Us is on PC, Switch, Xbox Game Pass PC, and will be coming to Xbox consoles in 2021. I mean, if you would have told me that like Among Us was going to consistently kill it, I wouldn't be surprised. This game came like got the second life at the perfect moment when everyone's stuck at home and kind of doing the thing and it's a fun game to play i haven't played it myself in a minute but i know my girlfriend's like a really big fan of it as well and if you haven't played among us play it's like five bucks if you have it if you want to play it on switch if you want to play it on pc and it's free on mobile all you got to do is watch a few ads and that's worth it you know if you haven't played among us go play it. fun game inner sloth pretty good studio for our last bit of news silent hill creators they're working on a new action horror game so the original Silent Hill creator, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to pronounce his last name wrong, so I apologize, Toyama, made the announcement that he's going to be making a new company, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to pronounce this wrong again too, so forgive me, called Bokia Game Studios, and it's going to have veteran developers from Gravity Rust and The Last Guardian. In an interview, he states that the game will, and I quote, appeal to fans of his previous work, which is a clear reference about Silent Hills. The Silent Hill series has been up in the air lately, with the latest one being PT that was going to be made by Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro which ended up being cancelled in 2015. In a quote, Toriyama continues to say, If there's anything that will be more of a horror-oriented game, but we will focus on making it a broader entertainment experience rather than a hardcore horror game. It's still going to be a little while before we get to play the game, which is expected to come out sometime in 2023. And it's going to be multi-platform, so it's going to be both for the Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation players as well, so that everyone can get their hands on it. As for like Silent Hill games, I've never really played one myself. They look like a lot of fun. I, I think I kind of missed the hype train on that because like I was like I was a little kid when it came out and I was scared shitless like I didn't even play Resident Evil 2 until the remastered came out like not too long ago and Resident Evil 3 that's how much like I was scared and it took me a very long time to beat Resident Evil 4 as a child 
but that being said i'm excited to see you know like the predecessors of this like the spirit child if you will of silent hills and they look like really fun horror games i've heard fucking phenomenal things about it but i just feel like the time has passed and i'm not gonna go back to it that's just me being you know stubborn but the fact that they're gonna continue to make these games and they're gonna continue to do stuff like this for like their own studio and all that is fucking awesome and yeah i'm really excited to see what they do in the future with this game um I'm a big fan of horror games, and I'm a big fan of all of it. So, you know, the future is <laughs> looking pretty bright for gaming. And there you have it, guys. I know there's a lot of news going on in the world today, but um, this is the stuff I thought was probably some of the more interesting and some of the more important stuff going around today. And I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. It really does mean the world that you guys just tune in time and time again to, like, you know, watch me report on gaming news. And I know there's a lot of other people you could be watching, a lot of other bigger outlets, but you come to me. You know, some uh, college kid in his garage making videos. And, uh... Here's my dog, too, if you guys want to see him. See? Here's Bubba. Say hi, Bubba. And um, if you guys need anyone to, like, talk to, literally for whatever reason, please uh, let me know and uh, ask for the Discord link. I'll drop it down below, but just make sure you grab it while it's hot because it does expire within 24 hours. And like I usually say, and I know I say this a thousand times, thank you for watching me. It really does mean the world. And I hope we could go into next year and just have this grow into something bigger and better than what it already is. And if you guys could like and subscribe, that that would be the best. But with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day, great night, great afternoon. And I'll see you when I see you. Take care.